Hey guys, I apologize for my voice, but please stick around. Hey, hey, YouTube, welcome back to Urban Outdoors. It's Wednesday about noon. It's, uh, 36 degrees, wet. It's been raining all night. So I'm going to head over to the fox den and, uh, show you guys a couple of things, if you'll come with me. Apologize for the way the fox den looks. It's a little unorganized right now, but it should be warm. Let's see, I got my little fireplace going there. It puts out a little bit of heat, and uh, yeah, I've got some junk stored away from Christmas and all that. But anyway, that's not what I want to show you. So bear with me, let me get the camera set up. Okay, first I apologize for my voice. Just yesterday, I had to go and have my esophagus stretched because I was having a hard time eating food again. So they went and did that yesterday. So this is going to be a short video because the longer I talk, the rougher my voice gets. Um, it's just a little sore, and that's to be expected after they go down your throat and stretch out your esophagus. But uh, I'm going to try something that I've never done, but I saw it on a video, and that is I am going to smoke the remainder of this cigar inside of this pipe never done that before have you first thing I'm gonna do is get an empty jar so that I don't make a complete total mess when I break this thing apart the cigar is a Placencia cigar I'm not a big cigar person I don't know I just don't like I like the way a pipe feels in your mouth better I don't like the way the cigar smoke goes all up in your face. But I do like the flavor of them. First thing I'm going to do is try to get the wrapper off of it here to reveal just the tobacco. <clears throat> I guess that's how you do it. Oh yeah. Alright, so after taking the wrapper off, this is what we've got. So now I'm just going to Kind of crinkle it up, I guess. Break it up. Oh yeah, it's falling into pieces. Kind of like a flake tobacco. That should be enough for a bowl right there. Alright, so that's kind of what we look like there. Kind of chunky. And since this is the first time I've done this, I'm going to smoke it in the first pipe that I ever actually bought for myself. I bought this out of a basket at my local tobacco merchant. So, how appropriate that my first cigar smoked in a bowl is in my first pipe ever bought by myself. The first pipes that I smoked were pipes that belonged to my father, and you guys probably know that from some of my previous videos. I still have his pipes and I still enjoy him to, to, to this day. So I'm going to do the same method for stuffing this pipe as I do. We're going to see how this works. I do like the flavor of these cigars. I'm just thinking this might be a more enjoyable way to smoke it. Today I'm going to use my clipper lighter, because that's what I have in my drawer. But, you can use them as a tamper.
Well, what do you know? It works. Yep. Tastes just like it did when it was a cigar. Hey, backy's backy, right? Another, another thing I wanted to share with you guys is I was looking at my K-Ring just the other day. And I realized I've got two things on here by the same company. And I've never really paid attention to company names and stuff. When I buy a lot of things. You know, if I like it, it looks handy and something that I'll use, I'll buy it. But I, I looked on my key ring and I noticed I've got two products by a company called Night Eyes. Have you guys heard of this company? This is just a flashlight. You turn it once, it's bright. Turn it off. Turn it back on, it's dim. Turn it off. Turn it back on and it's bright. And it's a very bright little light to be so small. And it came with this carabiner that hooks right onto your keychain. So that is one Night Eyes product that I realized I had. <clears throat> the other is this little tool, also by Night Eyes. And again, it has a carabiner type of clip. Just hangs right on your key ring. And it has a bottle opener, a screwdriver, and you can see here's a little blade. This is great for opening up boxes, uh, shipping tape off of boxes, and um, envelopes, stuff like that. It's primarily what I use it for. But man, this thing opens up. I've used the screwdriver once, and it worked well. Haven't used it as a bottle opener, but I'm sure it would work. But anyway, Night Eyes. I don't know if the company, does it specialize in small gadgets? Is that what they do? You know, I really like this. I, I might buy more of those little cigars and put them in the pipe. Like I say, I just never have been into pipes and something about, oh, I don't like holding that. And then they're so close. I don't know, it just seems like the smoke always goes up in my face. Anyway, like I say, like you saw, it's cold and wet and miserable outside. I'm supposed to be just getting rest for two days. I have to eat soft foods right now <clears throat> until everything is all healed back up in here and not as sore. And I know my voice is probably irritating to y'all so I'll go ahead and cut it short. I just wanted to try this and to find out if any of you guys have ever done that. And, and I wanted to see if you guys have an opinion on Night Eyes products. I just wanted to share that with you and let you guys know. I know it's been a long time since I've done a video. But I have had some health issues with my throat and swallowing. Till next time. Keep calm, carry on, and keep puffing.